Whether it's clearing brush, cleaning up a field in the corn belt, chopping cotton stalks in the deep south or far west, or clearing pasture ground, there's nothing can do the job quite like a rotary cutter, even if they do take a real beating getting their job done. Of course, there are a few jobs even these workhorses draw the line at. It would be nice to put a stump like that out of existence, wouldn't it? it makes work so much easier but it's hardly worth dynamiting. I hope he knows what he's doing. Well, now, sure beats going around, doesn't it? Beat stump jumping, too. By the looks of that stump, it will rot out in no time at all. Hey, I know just the job for a rotary as rugged as that. Take a good look at this land. Imagine it converted to brush-free pasture. Okay, let's quit fooling around and get to work. Recognize this road and this land. Looks quite different, doesn't it? Once overgrown and useless, now a profitable, lush pasture. What kind of a rotary cutter is this? The new McCormick International Rotary Cutter. This particular model is the 410, and the kind of rugged work you've just watched it doing is no accident. Rugged brute strength is built into every component. Let's begin with the housing itself. How many rotary cutters could do the kind of work you've just seen without having their sides all bowed out? That housing is built. From the flared bottom, which mounts replaceable wear runners, one single sheet of quarter-inch steel formed in huge presses into a smooth, flowing curve. Up into the top, ending in a double-folded flange, which runs the full length of the housing. The gearbox mounting is rock solid, because International wasn't content to let the top sheet carry the whole load by itself. Now let's look underneath. This torsion frame, identified in light yellow, is one solid piece, one quarter of an inch thick. One single piece of formed steel, welded, as shown here in blue, to the housing in the inner slots and along the outer edges. The torsion frame builds in both beam strength and resistance against twisting, and provides a solid mounting for the spindle housing. The cutter blades that do all the damage to that heavy brush are full cleaver shaped. They weigh 20 pounds apiece. They're made of special alloy steel, heat treated to last. Even their shape is the result of careful design. When a rotor arm is whirling, centrifugal force throws the blades out from the arm. A regular blade would now have its cutting edge on a line with the rotor arm, like this. But the resistance of the material against the blade causes the blade to assume about this position. International's cleaver blade, through shape and balance alone when working, 
folds into the ideal cutting position. And that 20-pound blade whirling at over 700 revolutions per minute, well, you just saw the kind of job it does. Another thing, the rotor arm is straight. No bends to form a weak spot. The necessary offset is in the knife itself, where it belongs. And the knife is attached to the arm through a bushing made of special steel. The wear is on the bushing, not the bolt that holds it in place. Now then, what's the weakest link in most rotary cutters? Is it the spindle, the part that drives the rotor arms, and takes so much shock when the blades hit something solid like a stump or a rock? Or is it the spindle housing? International engineers believe it's a little of both. Now on the spindle, IH does not use a straight steel shaft with a plate welded on. Welds can break. And the heat necessary to make welds strong can take the temper out of the finest steel. So they discarded this concept and forged a spindle. No welds, all one piece, made of the finest alloy steel, with a base of the same steel to which rotor arms are attached. What they've done to the spindle housing is hard to see. Here's a gray iron housing that is satisfactory when used on light duty models. As this demonstration will show, it cannot take the punishment to which the heavy duty models are subjected. On heavy duty models, IH uses nodular iron in the spindle housing. That's nodular iron. And certainly castings made of iron like this can stand up better to all the abuse to which a rotary cutter will ever be subjected. So, here is a rotary cutter whose every component is designed to stand up to the most abusive treatment. But maybe you don't really have need for a cutter big enough to do jobs like this one's doing. There's a combination exactly designed for the kinds of jobs you do have. For instance, let's go all the way the other way. Here's a model 211 with three-point hitch, 60 inches wide, just right for cutting grass. Here's the model 211 equipped with an offset trailing hitch so that no uncut strip remains when operating with a side-mounted sickle bar mower. The 211 is not as big or heavy as the big 410 you just saw cutting heavy brush, but pound for pound, it has the same strength the same structural design, the same housing design, the same shielded three-knuckle PTO for easy turning, all the same features and careful design. The 211 can be equipped with safety chains for jobs where thrown material may cause injury, such as grass cutting along roadways. The 211 with three-point hitch and single gauge wheel which makes a versatile tool for general purpose use. Or would you sooner have the 211 with a fast hitch? Or with the trailing hitch and side gauge wheels? Whatever you need, International has designed it to do exactly the kind of job you want done. If you want really fine shredding, there are models with double knives mounted on the rotor bar, which cut against a stationary knife. By adding a second knife here, shredding can be further intensified. Truly, there is a model for every possible need, and some which can combine many more than one kind of job. The Model 310, a 66-inch cutter, is ideal for cotton stocks, yet heavy enough to work in brush, too. The trailing version of the 310 can be equipped either with gauge wheels to the rear or to the side, whichever you prefer. Or will nothing quite do the job for you but a three-point hitch for heavy brush? Or orchard work? Adjustable skid sides for maintaining cutting height and safety chains are also available on the 310. If you need a heavier 84-inch model that will not only cut stalks and clear land,
but will cut a full seven foot swath. The big 510 allows you to work closer into trees in orchard work without catching on limbs. Truly the new line of international rotary cutters is so carefully designed that you need only say what your needs are and you will find a model designed exactly to that need. And every one of them will give the same rugged power and durability as this big model 410. Run one of these rugged international rotaries through any brush patch and you'll wind up with an additional fertile field.